sense. You're, you're boiling them at We're some all, point. <laughs> well, no, she asleep. eats them and then she oh, swallows them. And then they're gone forever. And then they, they're gone so you forever. pick them up in the backyard. That's right. Aaron Lightfoot got into running about eight years ago. Mm -hmm. And here he is. This is finishing the 2014 Kansas City Triathlon coming mm -hmm. up in this picture that you're about to see right about there. We wanted right to praise there. him. There yeah. he is. So it's what happened to the Bellevue native in between that brings him here to us today. And Aaron is joined by Serena McNeil, race director for a sharp race towards brain aneurysm awareness. Aaron, uh, good to see you. So yeah, good to and see welcome back. Yeah. Thank, you. Thank you. Aaron, take us back. I think this was, it was at this year in January, January 29th that this yeah, happened? Yeah, it was the end of January, and I was just out on a morning run like I normally do, and on my way home, I just ended up having this intense pain in the top of my head, and I knew it wasn't a normal headache, and I was able to eventually get, get help and uh, get to the hospital. And Were you running alone? Yes, Are, I was running alone. Um, I, luckily, I ended up being in a neighborhood and a nearby office building was where I was able to get help and uh, let somebody know I was in trouble. The pain was that severe that you went and got help and then fortunately somebody was yeah. there to help get you to the hospital. And you survived. Yep. You survived all of this. Um, what happened? The, the treatments, what did doctors and nurses um, do to make sure you were here with us well, now? Well, a lot of what I, I don't really remember what happened after I uh, had the headache mm -hmm. because on the way to the hospital I had a seizure and lost consciousness and um, I had a uh, basically a coiling procedure where they block the uh, ruptured blood vessel and um, keep it from bleeding. Wow. Yeah, a very serious life-threatening mm -hmm. event. Yeah. Um, let's talk, Serena, let's talk to you a little bit about what are brain aneurysms and I guess uh, how common are they? Um, well, there's about six million people in the United States that are affected by a brain aneurysm. A lot of them have no idea they have one. Um, a brain aneurysm is basically a weak spot in an artery that's feeding your brain. Some of them look like a uh, berry. They're called a berry aneurysm. They look like a little balloon on the side of the artery wall where it's been weakened and there's a little neck to that. Um, and some of them are a fusiform, which is kind of just a wide bulging area all around the artery. He was doing everything right. He lived a healthy lifestyle. Absolutely. He was very active when we hear about those things, mm -hmm. but it still happens. So are there yeah. signs or symptoms? What, what should we be looking out for to make sure There we're are okay? different symptoms. Um, of unruptured aneurysm, some people will have double vision, blurred vision, pain behind their eye. Um, they'll have headaches at times, but they're not like a typical migraine headache where, like you mentioned, you have mm -hmm. migraines. They're not chronic. They don't occur frequently. Um, they're kind of short-term localized areas um, that resolve. Um, a lot of times people have no idea. They have no symptoms at all. Aaron had no idea. Had nothing. Yeah. Well, right. Are, are there yeah. screenings there's, that you can do? There are we, screenings. Um, however, if you don't have any symptoms, mm -hmm. um, there's really no reason to do the screening. If there's a family history, is that a reason to get screened? At times, it, there is a, a reason. First degree relatives are more likely, which okay. means your parents, your siblings, um, they're more likely to have an aneurysm if there's a family history mm -hmm. already, but it's not one of those type of screenings that's covered by insurance. So um, really, if you, a lot of the ones that we find that have not ruptured are found by default because they were being screened for some so other no. medical oh, problem. Aaron was, yeah, Aaron was very fortunate that they're, they're, he received treatment right away. Mm -hmm. Are there uh, treatment options out there, for, and how, common, how often do these treatments work? Um, they're very effective. Um, Unfortunately, in Aaron's case, he was very lucky. Most of the people who suffer a rupture, 40% um, of those people die uh, before they ever make it to a hospital for treatment. Uh -huh. um, of those people, two-thirds of them will recover with deficits, and there's a couple different um, options they have. One is a coiling, which is what Aaron mm -hmm. had, and that's a, a less invasive approach. Um, there's also a clipping where they actually put a little titanium clip on the aneurysm, which is a, a better mm -hmm. long-term option, but it's a much more invasive Awareness procedure. is a big reason you're here now, and we've left ourselves mm -hmm. just a minute to talk about okay. this race. Please listen for the next minute. <laughs> um, Anita inspired this. Her last right. name is Sharp, and that's yes. where the name of the event came from. Last year was the first. What are you doing this year to bring even more awareness to brain aneurysms? Well, this year... Um, we're on a couple of different news shows. We're also doing um, a community awareness night at uh, the Omaha Storm Chasers on August 16th. We'll be out promoting our event and educational materials, mm -hmm. teaching people about aneurysms. And our SHARP race is on September 7th. Um, that was held last year. It was our first annual year. We had over 400 participants. 
Um, it's a 5K and a one mile. Mm -hmm. um, this year we've added some food vendors. We've got a DJ coming out. You've we've grown it. We've yeah. grown it quite a it's bit. It's a big event now. And if people want to register, do they just call that number right there? That's 699-2666? They can call that number. That's me. Um, they can also get online. Um, at the bafound.org and search events in the area. Mm -hmm. There's also a link um, at the bottom of the screen and there. And we'll make sure we get that on our website too. Volunteers are also needed, so if you're not into running but you'd like to take part, uh, please feel free to do that. Aaron, all the best. Aaron, looking great. Feel, feeling good? Yep, feeling good. great. Sounds great. good. Thanks. Thanks Thank you. Good to see you too. Serena, hey, good thanks. to see you. All right, thank